the iconic steeple of the First Congressional Church of Spencer tumbling into a roaring fire. At one point, dangerous conditions forced first responders to pull back before the steeple collapsed. Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Lisa, a servant of Christ. The video you're looking at is about a church that has been struck by lightning. And this is not the first time that this church has been struck by lightning. This is actually the second time and this time it is burned to the ground. This is a pride church, an LGBTQ church that those people attended. And what they were preaching in this church is absolutely insane. They're preaching their own ideology using the name of God. They're calling God Mother. That's right. They said Mother God. Some of them are so disrespectful that they even said that Jesus has two dads. These people have an insane ideology. It is so stupid. I just don't understand how can one comprehend or agree with what they're doing. And the alphabet community are pushing a sexual agenda to your children, to your little children who do not need to know about these things, but to focus on the subjects that matters the most. Like English, math, social studies, and so on. Please listen to this. People decide what to believe in the Bible since there are so many contradictions. And the reality is that indeed there are lots and lots of contradictions. Um, you know, why are there always contradictions in the Bible? Well, because it was written down by the people over a period of about 1,500 years. So given, given that, uh, people are going to have different kinds of things. And, and I am one who does not believe it was dictated by God. Today, Holy Mother God, with all, we praise and give thanks to you, Trinity of love, one God forever. And all of God's people may say, Amen. Did you hear that? He just said, Mother God. No wonder that church was burned to the ground. And I hope that they have learned their lesson to never mock God ever again before worse things happen to them. That church burned to the ground moments after he preached all of that nonsense. And some people think that this is just a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. This is a clear message from God to not mock him again and to not twist and turn his words to fit in to your wicked lifestyle. The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. These people are absolutely corrupt and there is no doubt about that. And that is because they are giving in to their flesh and they're giving in to their sexual desires and they're following their hearts instead of following the true word of God. Here is another crazy prayer that I want you to listen to. And let us confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I believe in the church of everyday saints as numerous, creative, and resilient as patches on the ace quilt whose feet are grounded in mud and whose eyes gaze at the stars in wonder. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So beloved, let us love. I believe, glorious God, help my unbelief. Amen. The things that comes out from the mouths of these people, may God help them all. I just feel so sorry for them because they're so lost and confused and they're blaming all of this on God. They're blaming their confusion and their hurt on God when God has nothing to do with this. They should be blaming Satan. They should be going against Satan for all the things that they have been through in their lives. God is there to help us, to heal us of those hurt and pain and sorrow that we've been through. God is there to give us good things. He only wants good things for us. If you were born with male body parts, then you are a male. And if you were born with female body parts, then you are a female. A male can never be a female and a female can never be a male. No matter how much transformation you go through, you will not feel complete. You will still feel empty. You will feel like something is missing and that something is God. If you truly, truly want to enjoy happiness, then choose God. 
God can give you the happiness that you're looking for. This world cannot provide what you need. Everything that we need is in God and God alone. Society says to follow your heart, but God says to follow Him and you shall get everything you need. You want to trust in someone? Trust in God alone because people don't care about you. They pretend as if they care, but they really don't. And if someone truly loves you, then they are going to be honest with you and share the true word of God with you because they would not want you to go to hell. True love is being honest. True love is pulling someone out of danger if they're heading down that path. True love is not about lying to someone's face because you just don't want to hurt their feelings. What are you going to say to God when he asked you why you lied to your friend about the way they're living? If you see someone is not living a good lifestyle, then tell them about it. Tell them that you care for them. That's why you're telling them about it. Believe it or not, guys, God is touching the hearts of some of these people who are in the alphabet community. He is showing them who they truly are. He is bringing them into his marvelous light and redeeming them and saving them from the pits of hell. Because my God is a loving God. My God, Jesus Christ, is a merciful and compassionate and gracious God. And he does not want us to go to hell. He wants us to have a wonderful life with him in heaven. And God has given you free will. Whether you want to choose to have an eternal life with him in heaven or you want to suffer in hell for all eternity. So please choose wisely. Thank you so much for listening to this message and watching this video. I pray that this message will touch your heart and you will give your lives to Jesus Christ today as there is still time. Take care. May God bless you. Remember that Jesus loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you. Bye.